Hi, I'm the Brick Pie, and today we're gonna extinguish some fire. So, have a drink if you're liking, take a seat by the fire, and enjoy. This is a Blue Bricks Pro set, or specifically a Blue Bricks Kids, which is a kind of different category. But uh, we'll talk about that in a moment. Let's start, as per usual, with the hard facts. Uh, set is called City Fire Rescue Fire Station. Set ID is 107160. 33 euro list price, 523 pieces. The station weighs 560 gram, the fire truck 154, which makes a total of 714 gram. So 6.31 cent per piece and 4.62 cent per gram. So much about the hard facts. Um, the box. As I said, it's a Blue Bricks Pro set. These are a bit different compared to the Blue Bricks Specials, which come with no box art whatsoever. This is Blue Bricks Pro and specifically, as I said, Blue Bricks Kids. So it does come with a box art. There is something on the box and on the rear side too. When talking about the box, there is one highlight about that box that always brings joy to me. It has this this cardboard inlet makes the box more sturdy and therefore it does seem like a lot higher quality just by this tiny piece of cardboard. And it also comes well with a printed instruction. Also different to Blue Brick Specials which only come with a PDF. This does come with printed instruction. These also come with minifigures. Um, I really don't like the Blue Bricks minifigs. I'm, I'm sorry, Blue Bricks. But I had them at the Qingbao train station. And I hated them. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Blue Bricks. This time I didn't even build them because they do have to be assembled and I really didn't want to. Sorry. But there are figures in it to play with. So that's about the box. Let's get rid of it. In the box, there are the bags for the, the instruction. We also have a sticker sheet. You know the drill. I really don't like them. I think stickers are somewhat minor quality, but this is a playset and it's meant for kids. So I'm not really gonna rant too much about that, but I'll always mention that I don't like them. That's about it. And we've got a dog. Then a fire sniffing dog or something like that. Uh, but we've got a dog, which is nice. So, so much for that. Before I forget it, we do get the brick separator and a handful of spare pieces, nothing too special. We even use up almost every piece on that tool wheel in that case. And just the typical one by one spare pieces. So nothing too fancy in here. Let's also get rid of this. Not for you, dog. You're going to stay there. 
Let's just quickly talk about the instruction. Uh, the entire build is separated into five segments with a total of 66 building steps. The entire thing is meant for kids. It says six plus. I think it's somewhat fitting for like 90, 95% of that. There are like one or two steps where a six year old might need a little bit of help, but I think a six year old would mostly pull through that. It is a little bit advanced though. So if your six year old has never built a brick set before, maybe do not start with this one because The steps can easily look like this, and mostly do. So I think there's an average of almost eight pieces per building step, which is fine. And I think a six year old will manage that. Not every six year old is as degenerate as Lego things, and uh, they can barely handle their two hands without having them displayed in the instruction. So I do think this is perfect for like a six, seven, eight year old who's already built a handful of brick sets. But as mentioned, it should maybe not be the very first ever. Brick quality, mostly fine. The only thing I had was a couple of windows were very scratched. Yeah, this one there. Um, I'll, I'll see if I can show this one to you a little bit later because this had like huge scratches over that and in general the windows were probably the worst but mostly just some scratches might have happened on packaging or something like that it is not too bad as it is a playset but I have to mention that but that's the only quality part I have to talk about, or I can and will talk about. Brick-wise, I do not know which kind of bricks Blue Bricks Pro really use it. They uses they do have an engravement kind of similar to the Lego bricks with the Lego imprint. This one says um, this one says Enli, E N L I. I'm, I'm honestly going to pass on that. I do not know what kind of bricks those are. Uh, but yeah, quality so far fine. There is a cat viciously mewing in the background. I'm sorry. Anyways, the design or the set itself. I don't even know where to start. Remarkable, <laughs> astonishing. It's, it's simply great as a playset, which it is. It is a playset. And as that, it does in my opinion, most of the things perfect. This is how I imagine a fire station for a six to eight, nine year old as a playset. And I'll show you why. First of all, the, the set itself, let's have the standard 360 tour. And then we'll have a look. First of all, we can open this. We can open this. And then we can move out the fire engine. But I did not 
entirely down. Oh. Ah, I did not pull up the gate in time. So we do have the fire truck. This, and uh, yeah, obviously we can lose that again. And this. this is maybe one of the things that will happen a couple of times that this will move off. Um, or yeah, this, this will get loose. I'm not sure if that is such a big hassle, but yeah. also this gauge is something where like the fire truck can get stuck on as you saw. And yeah, it, it really depends on the mood of the cage, whether that's going to be an issue or not. But after all, it is a playset. It has movable parts in it and that is a big thing. Can you, can you not, please? The fire truck. It is a simple design and yet very complex, detailed. First of all, we've got doors. They are simple but it is a playset. A six-year-old does not care how simple these doors are, but a fireman getting in there has to go through the door. That needs a door. We have a door. Nice. There is a little hatch where you could store some tools, something like that. We've got this water cannon that is on that rope, so you can pull all of that out. Attaching that is one of the things where like a six, seven year old probably will still need an adult to help because I am an adult and I struggled. <laughs> I mean, maybe my building quality is just on the level of a, of, of a six-year-old, but I killed Doggo. And we do have some, some tools up here, like an ax and all that. And then we do have this. If I extend it, it can move all the way around. So it does not hit anything on there. So they did actually test the design. And then like this is the maximum height you can extend it to. Which is not. So you could like get off. You could, don't know, play rescue someone out of a burning building uh, from a different brick set that is like a multi-story house. That would work. And as you see, like the typical brick building height, this would mean like a two, three story house would easily be playable with this. So nice. Uh, it has a seat there and the levers, so all the details it needs. Yes. A fire truck. So let's get back to the house. Another part which is a bit tricky is this one, because this is simply a rigid hose and it has to be stuck really tightly oops, into the 
um, into that gray pin that is clicked in there and really have to push it into the pin from the other side. So it is rather fixed. If that comes loose, might might also like need need help to to get that attached again. The large windows are very nice. The overall design is great. And you have this chair that is put on a turntable so it can turn around, which is also great for playing because that means you can turn it to this side, put the minifig in and then turn it around. You, you don't have to, to mess around to get the minifig in from behind and over the chair. So another great design. Some weights so the fireman can train and weight lift. Um, we do have some bunk beds so they can have rest. Computer in there so everything you need. The garage, we've already seen it. The helipad. And this is some storage room. And you can even take that off because you do build it separately. So it's even designed to be taken off. So much for, I think, most of the stuff that is in this set. And all of that for 33 euros. All of that, plus those mini figs that I didn't build. Need a quick hats up what a 35 euro will get you in the Lego universe. There was a third mini fig in there. Might have dropped it. Oh, add another generic minifig for that. Yeah, um, let's quickly move that out of the way. Because obviously this one's the better deal. I mean, come on. And yes, like you, for 33 euro, you can build a fire station that actually fits the fire truck that comes with it over the whole length. And we have a great plate in here, this one. Um, this one. That's a great plate for, for building and rebuilding. That perfectly fits a car that is, what is it, like six studs wide. All of that, 33 euro. If people are still wondering why I am recommending to buy blue bricks instead of Lego right now, then I don't know. I mean, what else do you need? This was a straight up price comparison. Of well, this thing's got double the pieces than this thing. I think this one's got like 261, this one's 523, so perfect double amount of that. Two euro less than this one. I mean, I could still complain here that we're building a helipad, but we don't get a helicopter. I mean, no, honestly, this is great. And it does show that Blue Bricks, first of all, they apparently test their sets, which is rather obvious when you see a fire truck being designed like that so you can rotate it 360 degrees and this one perfectly the the seat and the the edge of that the corner of that 
perfectly misses on that slope. Obviously, the entire truck fits into that garage perfectly. So it was obviously tested. That is all that I'm expecting of a brick set. And to be fair, for 33 euro and all of that, I can even ignore the scratch on that window pane. I gladly can and will ignore that. Because it's the only thing that I found on that set that I can cry about. Thank you, Blue Bricks. This is how you build a playset for kids. That's gonna make them have fun and enjoy building and playing. So yeah, I think with that, I've said everything I had to say about what they said. So the only thing left to be said is Bye. The break.